Hey guys, I'm Steve, also known as Terramantis. Welcome to the Dark Souls 3 guide. You can click on the icon in the corner of the screen to be taken to other Dark Souls related content. There's also a link in the description as well. In this video we're going to go over how to find the location of the Hidden Dragon Coven. And after clearing the Dragon Coven area and following this guide you will obtain the following items. The full Havel set, the full Orenstein set as well, the head and chest stones for the Dragon Transformation, the twinkling head and chest stones, and a few Titanite slabs. Alright, let's get started. So first off, to initiate and find any of this, you're going to need to fight Osiris. This boss can be found in the Consumed King's Garden, which is just off the path of Lothric's castle. After lowering the ladder to gain access to Lothric's castle, just head up and go left. Head down this elevator and jump off before reaching the bottom. Progress through the Consumed King's Garden until you reach the encounter with Osiris. And after defeating Osiris, you'll find the Drake Blood Knight sitting with an item. Pick up the item to learn the Path of the Dragon pose. Now that you have the pose, you can gain access to where all of the items for the Path of the Dragon can be obtained. To gain access, you'll need to head back to the prison. Just follow this path until you find the Crumbled Dragon Disciple. Sit next to the Disciple using the Path of the Dragon pose. After a few moments you'll go into a cutscene and it will bring you to the Dragon location. First off, there are a few bosses in this area that I'm not going to spoil in this video. But to gain access to the last boss of the area you have to ring this huge bell. So we're going to hold off on that until we do a few things first. The first thing you'll want to do is sit in a few locations using the Dragon pose. One location is very close to the second bonfire. Here you'll obtain the Calamity Ring. Next, just after the last bonfire, near the huge bell, you'll want to be kindled. This way you'll be able to see the summoning sign for Hawkwood. Summon Hawkwood and fight with him until you reach the top of the summit. Here Hawkwood will sit. Sit next to Hawkwood using the Path of Dragon pose to obtain your Twinkling Stone. Next you want to head up the ladder near the third bonfire. Here you'll fight and kill Havel. Upon defeating him he'll drop the Dragon Tooth Hammer and his shield. I'll show you where to go to grab his armor in a bit. So now that you've done the dragon pose in both locations, it's okay to trigger the last boss fight by ringing the huge bell. After finishing that boss fight, you can find Ornstein's armor as well as a tight night slab. Alright, now that this location is done, let's talk about where to go to get Havel's armor, as well as the last Twinkling Dragon piece. Now to get the final part of the Twinkling Dragon piece, you'll need to head back to the Firelink Shrine. Talk to Andre and he'll give you an item from Hawkwood. The description tells you where to find and kill Hawkwood. To do so, head to the Abyss Watcher boss fight location. From here you'll get into a confrontation with Hawkwood. And upon killing Hawkwood, you'll receive the last piece of the Dragon set. As the true dragon, I shall take what is right You are a dragon. 
More dragon than I. Alright, finally, to grab Havel's set, you'll need to head to where you fought the stray demon. If you don't know where that is, I'll show you really fast. So, starting from the exit of the Poison Swamp, just before the Abyss Watcher fight where you extinguish the three flames to open the door, stay to the left until you find a ladder. Just keep heading up and you'll find where to go. And since you killed Havel at the Dragon location, there's a new body here with loot on it. Just loot the body and you'll get Havel's full set of armor. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. Please hit the like button if it did. It really goes a long way with the success and searchability of videos here on YouTube. It helped me out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. Also, please don't hesitate to check out my other Dark Souls content. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.